Hi, you guys. So today I started rereading um, some of the Fo Foxfire book series. This is the first book, and it's just called the Foxfire book. Back in the 70s, a group of students, high school students, and their journalism teacher started interviewing people that lived in the Appalachia foothills. And they started to keep accounts of their lives and how they did things. It's turned into a whole series. It was a short TV program for a while. Initially, it was a magazine that was published. I think it was once a month. And then at the end of a year, they would make a book out of it. And it continued and continued and continued. I actually have, let's walk over and see. I have the whole series, including um, a cookbook. So here's two, three, four. This is a Christmas one. All the way up to 10. Then there's uh, 25 years of Foxfire. That's uh, kind of like the best, the best hits from this library. I keep it out because I reference the stuff in here a lot. Actually, these are the books I'm referencing a lot right now. She's making beeswax, some botany. Anyway, so this series, I would get it if, if you can. All right, but that's not why we're here. We're here because I have a bunch of green beans. And I want to try this technique in here called leather breeches. So it's sometimes called breeches, sometimes it's called britches, but it's drying, solar drying, sun drying, actually not in the sun, excuse me, wind drying green beans on a string. On They say to get, uh, let's see, string tender green beans, fill a long needle with a strong thread, push the needle through the center of the bean, pushing the beans together at the end of the thread, forming a knot. Hang up the string beans one end in the warm air, but not in the direct sunlight. This gives the beans better flavor. Let them hang until they become dry. Store in a bag until ready to use. Then it goes on to doing some peas and cabbage, etc., etc. So we're going to try that with some green beans today. So I got out my trusty sewing kit. My husband's a sewer of this family. I am not. And I looked through the thread, and I couldn't find any that I thought was strong enough. So I went into the bathroom and found my ancient dental floss that is, I think it's nylon, something very strong, but it does not have a wax coating, and it does not have a flavor coating. So this is what I'm going to use. So I'm going to string that up, and then we're going to go get the green beans and string them up. Okay, so we're outside at the uh, onion drying table. And I've got my beans here, and I have threaded a pretty big needle. I might need to go get a thumb protector, Thumbelina. And then I put a significant knot in the bottom. So people do several different things. They do it different ways, I've come to discover. But I'm going to do it the way the book says, which is just to take a green bean and put it on the string. I've seen some people, like... Um, snap these down into like one inch sections a lot of people are taking off the end um, maybe that helps stop mold but if the end stayed on i'm just going to let it stay on but if it uh, falls off i'm okay with that actually i think i'm going to go in through the seam Don't you think that would be easier to push through yep so long pull i'm going to put that down on the table so I don't have to hold all that weight and get all this tangled up. And again, go through the seam. There's also uh, some information on drying peas. And I actually had a lot of peas that were beginning to dry on the uh, vine. The vine? Yeah, I guess the vine. And so I've got those in the bottom of this basket, too. So I'm going to put those out as well. So we're just going to have a big hoot nanny drying game here. Thanks to the uh, people from Appalachia. Uh, apparently this came from the first German settlers and then they showed it to uh, the local people 
who settled in Appalachia, specifically I think it was the Melungeons, which are a mixture of African American, Native American, and Portuguese that were living in the area, um, and just the uh, single races as well, so like the Indians and the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch and all that. So anyway, I'm going to just keep going here, string it up, and then when I'm done, um, initially I thought I would string it, you know, like long ways, but apparently they just string it like this and let it dry. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Anyway, so I'm going to put my book on tape on and finish this up, and I'll come back to you when we're done. Okay, so I've got one done as much as I dare put, as much weight as I dare put on here. So I'm going to go hang this up and then start another one to finish off. And I'm trying to put all these big, huge ones together because they're not young and tender like the book said so they may be weird and I want to be able to cook them separately so um, anyway I'm gonna go hang this and then start another one and, and we'll be back now I'm in my little workshop shed here and I've got my two leather uh, see green bean leather breeches or britches and we're gonna let those suckers dry so Apparently they used them in holiday dinners. It was something special. Um, when you try to cook them after they've been dried, you need to boil them or simmer them for like an hour or something. With um, A lot of people use bacon, bacon ba back bacon, uh, belly bacon, or you know ham hock, that kind of a thing. So anyway, there we go. And uh, yeah, we'll check in when they're done.